I'm going to demonstrate how to use Dreamweaver to create a new website, your file structure, and your very first file. So in Dreamweaver, you'll go to Site, New Site, and you'll name it CDM 110. And you'll want to make sure you know where you're putting it on your computer. I'm on my home computer, not MCC's. At MCC, I would put it in my H drive. And I've already done this using brackets, so I'm going to call this one Computer Lit instead of CDM 110. So I'm actually just going to call it Lit. And I'm saving it to my desktop. Oops, I want to do New Folder, Lit. And then I'm going to select the folder, and that's where my site will be. Now I could set up my server in here, but we're going to use Fire FTP so that you're using the same FTP program at home that you would here. Dreamweaver does have FTP software that is excellent, and if you'd like to learn more about it, please look at lynda.com. So I'm just going to hit save here. That's created my site, and now I'm going to create a new file on my site. My new file will be index.html, and for every project we create, we're going to create a folder inside this site folder, and each folder will have an index.html page. The index.html page is the default page that will open when you navigate to a folder on the web. Now that I've created the page, I can double click on it, and Dreamweaver will automatically put in all of the basic code that I need to have when I'm working with a web page. Now I'm in developer view. If you're not, you may want to make sure that you're in the developer view because we're going to do hand coding for everything. And I wanted to explain what code's in here. The doc type HTML tells the browser what version of HTML we're using. This doc type statement means we're using the current version, which right now is HTML5. Your HTML statement should also have language or LANG equals EN for English. It's a good practice to help with usability for your website to tell the browser what language your web page is written for. The head information contains information about the web page. It tells us that we're using the UTF-8 character set. Don't worry about what that is, it's just our standard set of characters. We're not using Chinese characters or anything like that. And I want you to add a title. And the title should have your name web files and it should be at your actual name not your name now we can save this with control s one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts and you have the option down here to get a real-time preview and we can choose whichever browser we want or we could preview it on a device we're simply going to look at it in chrome and you'll see that the title goes up into the tab up here and nothing appears on the screen. So we're going to go back and we're going to have something appear on the screen. The first text things we'll start working with are headers. And so a header starts with H1 and every tag occurs in pairs, almost every tag. You'll see here that the doc type doesn't have a paired ending tag, but most things do. Meta tags don't. So we have opening HTML, we have closing HTML opening head, closing head. Your meta tag doesn't need a closing file, title, opening, and closing. So here we're going to have h1, and we're going to type in your name, and then we're going to close the h1 tag. Then we're going to save, control S, and you'll see that it appears here. That's your very first web page, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up Fire FTP, which is an excellent free fire tra and, or file transfer protocol software that you can plug in to Firefox.